Hi developers, in this video we'll learn how to create a bottom navbar page on Xamarin Forms Android application. We know that when we use the tablet page on iOS we can have that navbar page at the bottom of our page but on Android the navbar will be displayed at uh, the top of the page. And Xamarin Forms for now doesn't support displaying that navbar at the bottom. For that, we'll be using a NuGet package in order to add this feature to our Xamarin Forms application. And in addition to that, we'll get a nice feature which will display account numbers for each page. I'm Hossam Delay, Microsoft MVP, and join me for the next few minutes in order to add this page to your Xamarin Forms application. From within Visual Studio, I'll go to File New Project to create a new Xamarin Forms application. For that, I choose Cross Platform. Then I choose the first template. Give my application a name. Let's call it Bottom Navbar App, for example. Then here, make sure in the next window to choose .NET Standard instead of the shared project. To create the project, then here inside the main page, we are using the content page by default, but we can change that to tablet page in order to display the, um, let's say, the navbar at, which will be displayed at the top of our Xamarin Forms application. Inside this tablet page, we can add multiple child pages. So whenever we are um, clicking on one of those um, navbar items, a new page will be displayed so we can display the title for uh, the page and so on but we want to display that navbar at the bottom of our page as we have it right here and unfortunately Xamarin Forms doesn't have a component that help us to make this uh, possible in uh, Android so the community have developed a NuGet package that will make this simple and easier. So let's go to this GitHub repo where we have the source code for this uh, NuGet package. And here we do have the NuGet package itself in NuGet.org. So we take the ID for that NuGet package and then we go back to Visual Studio in order to install that NuGet package by going to our solution, right click, then select manage NuGet packages for solution. From this page right here, we select browse, then we paste the ID for the, pack for the package we want to use. We select that package, we have two here, we select the first one with the extension .xf. And here we install it to which projects? Here we only need it um, installed on the PCL project and Android project. That's only. We don't need it on UWP or iOS uh, projects. So we select only those two and then we hit install, hit OK to accept the license. Then here when it's uh, finished installing, we can go back to our main page and the only change we'll be uh, making here is instead of using the tablet page, we'll use the bottom bar page, which is another type of page uh, that comes with the NuGet package that we already uh, installed. The bottom bar page, because it's not inside the Xamarin Forms um, library, so we need to import the namespace for that. For, so here we are adding this line of code to add the XML NS, XML namespace. So we call it it XF. So our page should start with that prefix XF, um, two points, then bottom bar page. So with this, we can change our uh, content page and use another uh, implementation in order here let's use my code snippets we see here we still can use the title and the icon but in addition to that we can uh, specify the color for those pages 
so by running this application will have will it will render like this one here so we'll have the uh, button nav bar uh, displayed with the colors that we have uh, chosen right here but now um, we don't have this count displayed actually with this implementation so to have those count uh, displayed uh, it, we need more than this uh, nuget package because this one uh, doesn't have the latest uh, source code inside that nuget package uh, so what we need to do is to come back to the github uh, repo where we have the source files and then we'll grab the source uh, files so we can start by uh, here I have created a new uh, project and right here I have uh, copied those uh, source files from github to my solution and the only uh, files that I have copied are the one inside this bottom bar in my PCL project and the renders and utils in my Android uh, application from where I get I got those files so from the github if I go to the PCL project to this link right here I can have those two files I need to uh, copy them to my PCL project and the, the other files for um, so I have copied them here to my PCL and they have done the same for my Android uh, files here for the two folders renders and utils I get those from the Android implementation where here have the folders renders and utils so now to display those count we only need to add just two lines of code one of them to display the batch count so here I'm saying I want to display a uh, six then the color for that batch so I'm, here I'm displaying the that account inside the deep pink so we can't customize those values for if you want another change I have done here so because I'm using icons so I need to specify the size for each uh, platform or for each screen size so for the HDP it's not the same size as MDP and the uh, other ones so make sure to uh, select the right size another change I have done here is uh, installing another nuget package only to the Android project which is here the bottom um, uh, upper page so if I go uh, here to the uh, Xamarin Forms Android uh, application we can see that it is using this bottom navigation bar in order to be able um, to render the nav bar at the bottom of the page so with the source files I need to install that NuGet package finally with these few changes we are able to display the nav bar at the bottom of the page along with the count numbers right here if you missed some details or steps in this demo you can find the source code on my github repo so i hope this video was helpful for you and thank you